Hi, welcome to this first screencast on using live binders. We thought that it would be uh, valuable to you to have some direction as you prepare to uh, set up your first live binder or uh, as you're getting ready to set up the live binder for your portfolio. So let's uh, start with the basics and kind of work through um, what you need to do in order to set up your account and get your live binder underway. There will be subsequent screencasts that will explain in more detail how to set up tabs and sub tabs and how to upload materials into your binder. But let's start at the very beginning. And so we're going to go to the live binder site. And when you come to the landing page, you have some options up here in the upper right hand corner. This is www.livebinders.com. You can log in if you already have an account, but if this is your first time here, you can sign up for an account. Signing up for an account is very simple. You simply give it a username and an email address. You confirm the email address. And you establish a password. And of course, retype the password so they know that you did that correctly the way you want it. My passwords match. And so now I have some options here. I can sign up to get more about any changes that might occur at Live Binders, to be notified about comments and views on my binders. I don't mind that kind of messaging. It really doesn't uh, fill up my mailbox that much, so I'll say that's fine. And then all I have to do is click on Sign Up. Now what I have is the entry into setting up Live Binders. It says, Welcome Dr. Terry, which is my username if you'll remember. Here are my binders, and notice I, I don't have one yet, so I get some options over here in the dashboard. I can upload, I can start a blank binder, I can start a shelf. You want a shelf basically if you're going to have more than one binder. Uh, you can delete a binder if you're working on one and it just not, it's just not working the way you want to, you can do that. You can also look at the binders that are featured here. You'll notice that Common Core has quite a few binders here as you look at it later. You also have a tab that says Learn More. And when you click on that eventually, uh, what you'll get are some helpful tips and hints and videos uh, and tutorials on how to use live binders to your advantage. You can upgrade, upgrade from a free account to a paid account, but you honestly don't need to do that. And then the final tab is all about to, uh, tools. So when you click on Learn More, notice you have tutorials here, you have trainers, you have uh, binders that have been voted in the top 10, you've got a blog where you can leave messages, there are all kinds of events that you can avail yourself of, and the one that I tend to use not very often but from time to time is the help tab. If I'm struggling with something and I just can't figure it out on my own, which is rare, I'll go to the help tab. I have also discovered that with live binders, if you send them an email to their help desk, they respond quickly and they keep responding until they resolve the situation. I have not had a great deal of trouble with live binder, but every once in a while while they're upgrading the site, things will work in a way that, that just is not fluid. I just like to call it wonky. And so sometimes I'll just email them and they'll say, yes, we're in the middle of an upgrade. Give us a couple of hours and it should work pretty well right there. So avail yourselves of these tools. Look at different binders. Look at the tutorials. Go through some binders that are here. And it's going to help you, I think, as you go about setting up your first live binder.